Okay, I have these little bunny rabbits and shamrocks. And I cut out the cardboard and I put gesso on them to make them white. And uh, it was just, this was some mailing I just got today. An envelope, so I cut the pieces off and I'm adding up to this little bunny shape. So I've got that piece there. Kind of had it pieced how I want it. I'm trying to get the bottom layers on first. I'll probably forget where it was. So this one. I think we need that going this way more. Scissors. Can't reach it with the phone right there. I have it uh, attached to my chair leg right now. So I want to cut that a little bit so I can see that other flower pretty. Okay. Are you keeping it? In the screen, I'm trying to anyway. But I thought these flowers on the envelope I just got today, I thought, oh, they're so pretty. That might look good on this bunny rabbit. I'm going to mod podge all this down. But I just wanted to kind of patch it. I wanted this butterfly to show. So it might have to go that way. Maybe in front of that flower. Trim a little bit of that so it can be on that pretty pink flower. That butterfly is going to get cut off. I don't want to get cut off. So maybe I have to. It's kind of hard to fit them both on there. Well, he's going to get cut off a little bit, I guess. Do it that way. So it looks like that one's flying. Oops, am I in the screen? It's just the basic. Just trying to make it look pretty. So all the edges will be trimmed when I'm done. Got that one stuck down. Can we have to add a little bit more? Some of these can be this here. Blue. 
do like the sharp pointy edges. Oops. Same shape as the ear. Yeah, a little bit uncovered. I don't think it's going to make that much difference. How about this one? For this ear. I kind of like the cloudy part best. I like my other scissors to cut them in. I like the way the top of that cod looks better. I can take that in there. I think that's good like that. That'll be the bunny. That's our mark project. Okay, I trimmed off all the paper, and that's what our little bunny bun looks like. Pretty cute. So I just have to mod podge him. Still don't know what I'm going to do with him, but that's just one of the bunnies. I'm going to make them look a little different, I think. If I have some more papers, I might add um, do that on one of the bunnies. This, this was all from a I think it was St. Jude's envelope, and I thought they were pretty. Okay, what I'm doing here now, is since this is like corrugated cardboard, take the glue off, and I just kind of fill it in on the edges. And then when that dries, it'll be clear. And uh, I actually did this on that um, shaker tag. It was made out of a donut uh, coffee box, and then I just used a marker to color the edge, Sharpie. Once it's clear, you can color it. If you have, I guess, just dress inks, that'd probably work better, but I don't have any of that kind of stuff. So I just used a Sharpie. But, oh, be out of camera. Just fill in those little gaps. It'll be nice, like clear plastic when it's done. Oh, that's what I'm doing right now. I haven't mod podged it yet. I'm going to wait till I to fill in the gaps. This other one was just done on flat card, so it doesn't have the big gaps, but this one has all the holes. So that's what I'm doing there. It's trying to drip, so I think I'm using too much. Might have to do one side at a time. Maybe that's what I'm doing. One thing I like to do when you get these uh, mailers that, you know, they're part of the letter and it's like on a sticker, is I take some, some scrap paper. I just have a little bit of scrap paper. I glue that on, glue that onto that paper. Oops. And then 
you can make whatever you want out of this. Here's a piece of pink paper. Here's what I do with my Just glue it all over there. Should have probably my I am diamond painting here. I have very little desk area now that my computer takes up a lot of it. Anyway, you do that. There's a lot of bills you get, like um, pharmacy bills and that. You've got like the sticky part. You can still see through that, but if you cover it up with um, different um, like die cuts and that, and then you can use it as a sticker once it's dry. Let me grab a die cut. Got some here. These ones were from Patty. There we go, kinds. Let's see what I can make. Hmm. Or you can use little pictures if you don't want to waste your die cuts. I got a bunch of here, I keep those big cutouts and pictures that I have cut out. Those like food ones. I can make them. I've been eating a lot of these animal crackers. And I've been cutting them out. Let me try that. I'll stick that on there. Oops, that wasn't the glue I was using. Oh dear, where's the sticker? As long as that's on the sticker. guys under here. You can use this like for a background or something and you want it to just be a bunch of circus animals. I'm just supposed to cut it out a little bit. Yeah, I think probably because the glue is still wet. It's not cutting real great. See, I'm thinking this I might make it into a Memdex card. I'm just going to cut the top part because I like the top to have more of a shape. Yeah, as you can see, it's very, the glue is very wet there. And it just makes it a little in, more interesting on the top with that cut. I'll have to trim it up. Then you can add this to cardstock. It's just a sticker. You know, looks like I need to stick it down a little bit more there. And you just stick it and then add on to it, make it into a Memdex card. So that's probably what that one will become. But it's a good use for these stickers when you get them. And, uh, and like when they send you like the address labels, you can always just use the little pictures on them if you don't want the address labels. 
I usually make a little donation if I end up using something, so go online and make a donation. But even the little part, like here's the part where they want you to make the donation. And that is also a sticker. So you can use that when you have stickers. So anyway, see you later. Okay, here's another one I did. This is um, these little guys I cut off of string cheese. So that will probably become my little Memdex card or something once it's all dry. And as you can see, I ended up spilling my drills on the thing. Doing with this. So that's what I'm doing. So that will take care of that sticker.